This episode of Pop and Ollie is sponsored by Emerald Life, the UK's first insurance provider with a focus on inclusion, bringing you home, wedding, travel, and pet insurance. Emerald Life, ensuring today's diversity. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of All the Boys I've Ever Loved, part. I'm not sure, but I do know that it is a holiday romance special because despite being dreadful at regular romances, I'm very good at holiday romances. Why is that? Let's explore further. But before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And if you'd like to help me continue creating content for the Pop and Ollie YouTube channel, you can support me by becoming a Pop and Ollie Patreon. You'll get cool rewards. Just click the link below to find out more. Now, I'm not sure whether it's the sunshine or the tan or too much pineapple juice, but for some reason, whenever I go on a holiday, I always find a boy to fall in love with. And today, I'm gonna to tell you about one of these holiday romances, probably one of my most successful romances. A romance which lasted all of two weeks. Before we start, once again, I have changed people's names to protect their identities, because I'm nice like that. So let's go. This is all the boys I've ever loved. Holiday romance, number one, Daniel. Crikey, that's a long title. So I met Daniel when I was visiting a Spanish island about, about 10 years ago, actually. Wow, how old am I? We met on the beach. It was very cute. We kept looking at each other and smiling. And well, we just happened to walk down to the water at the same time. Or maybe I followed him. But good job I did because we got talking and he definitely liked me as much as I liked him because he later went and bought me an ice cream. And an ice cream is the way to everyone's heart. Unless you're vegan. But I'm pretty sure they make vegan friendly ice cream now. So Daniel was very generous. As well as the ice cream, he also gave me and my friends tickets to an exclusive music concert, which was awesome. He showed us the best beaches, the nicest places to eat, and the friendliest karaoke bars, where none of us got shamed for our terrible singing. Daniel was from the USA. He was super upbeat, had a great smile, and was also really tall. One great memory I have is standing with him in an old Spanish town, holding his hand and looking up at the stars. Another memory I have is trying really hard not to drown in front of him. I told you, he was really tall and could touch the sea floor. I had to tread water. It was exhausting. Despite getting on like two magical holiday unicorns, Daniel and I weren't really going to work out in the real world, i.e. not on holiday, because, well, we just lived way too far apart. And also, even if we could have continued the relationship, I'm not sure we would have, because, well, it was a holiday romance, and surely holiday romances only work on holiday, right? All I know is that for me, there's just something about a holiday romance that is different. It's fun, it's exciting, you get an ice cream, and I guess there's just not that pressure to make it work. Hmm, I'm not exactly sure what the lesson is here, but I'm pretty sure that the key word is pressure. Maybe I put too much pressure on my non-holiday romances, or maybe I should just enter new romances with a holiday vibe, or maybe I should just go live on holiday. I don't know, but I do know that that was all the boys I've ever loved, holiday romance number one, what was his fake name again? Daniel. Me and Daniel are actually still friends on social media and we do occasionally chat. Well, we like each other's posts. It's been nice staying in touch and seeing him live his best life. I think he has a baby now. Actually, no, just checked. Daniel has a five-year-old. Seriously, how old am I? More on that next time. Anyway, that is it for this episode. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. And let me know about your holiday romances. Did they work out? Did you get married? Have you got a five-year-old? I'd love to know. Leave a comment below. And don't forget, you can help me to make more videos like this one by becoming a Pop and Ollie Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash Pop and Ollie. You'll get cool rewards as well as access to the exclusive Pop and Ollie Patreon chat. Hooray, cool. And I will see you next time. Love and or unicorns. <laughs>